Our first guest is a very funny comedian and co-anchor of Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live. Please welcome Michael Che. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm very happy to talk to you, as always. Happy Cinco de Mayo. A happy Cinco de Mayo as well to you. Thank you, thank you. I know that you don't really celebrate many holidays. Do you celebrate anything at all? Uh, I like Thanksgiving. Cinco de Mayo just seems gratuitous. I pretty much, every day's my Cinco de Mayo. Yes. <laughs> Good point. It's just another excuse to drink more than usual. And, but your yeah. birthday's coming up, so do you celebrate your birthday? I try not to. I don't, I don't really like celebrating anything except for um, Thanksgiving. Why don't you celebrate your birthday? That's a wonderful day, the day you were born and you're here and you're, look what you're doing for the world with your joy and comedy. No, no, no one buys it. <laughs> I buy it. I bought it. I'm selling it. I appreciate it. Well, <laughs> hey, I heard you just became a, 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 a first-time homeowner. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm actually, like, a first-time anything owner. Like, I don't own... It's not just a house. I don't have anything. This is, like, the first thing I ever truly bought for myself that's worth something. Good for you. So you don't own a car. This is the first anything. I don't know how to drive a car. Oh, well, then you shouldn't own one. <laughs> hey, Michael, um, I understand you think that you have a bobcat that's in your, like, in front. Is, is this the new house that you're at? Yes, it's very scary. So, uh, you know, I'm up here alone, and there's only one thing stopping me from uh, the rest of the world, and that's a door. And I think there's a bobcat stalking my property, and it's freaking me out. OK, well, first of all, a bobcat is not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt a human being, but... Agree to disagree. OK. <laughs> all right. They really, they, it's more scared of you than... But let's take a look. I want to tell you that it's probably a cat, because you don't seem to... Can we see the video? Well, yeah, sure, I got a video. That's a cat. <laughs> Look at him. That's a cat. No, no, that's a bobcat. That... It's a bobcat. It's a cat, technically, but it's also a no. bobcat. Michael, more official. it's not a bobcat. It's a cat. Why don't you it's go out? Bobcat. Feed the cat. It's, it's hungry. It's looking. It's, it needs some food. Uh, no, thank you. I'd like to keep all my fingers. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised. Look, it's what is it? How, how big can that thing be? It's tiny. I don't about six, seven feet. <laughs> I, can't really, I can't really estimate just by eyeballing the footage, but that's definitely a cat. Uh, okay. That's a bobcat. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it I thought it was a wolf, honestly, but I think it's a bobcat. All right. You've been in Manhattan way too long. Hey, last time you were here, you said you had a crush on a woman named Maple. She worked at Whole Foods in the produce department, and now you've moved away. So have, did, did you even make contact with her? No, I never found my maple, um, and I've then I've switched Whole Foods, so I've just been, you know, walking around. Sometimes I'll do an extra lap around the produce section to see if maybe she got transferred, but um, it hasn't happened yet. Oh no! I would have thought talking about it, somebody would have gotten in touch with Maple, and then she would have uh, looked for you when you were in Whole Foods next. But because it seemed like no. you really we were attracted to her. I've, I've had a few cousins contacted me that, like, needed money, but other than that, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, well, so I brought out the wrong people. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, when we, but when we talked about it, there were a lot of people online that admitted that they had a crush on you. My name is not Maple, but he can call me whatever he likes. What a great guy. I should get a job at Whole Foods between the strawberries and the mangoes. <laughs> there she is. That is prime real estate. I mean, I'm usually near the lines, but yeah, please, I'll seek you out. All right, there she is. And then here's another one. I'm not Maple, but I live in the Bronx. That's two out of three, I guess? Yeah. I don't know where... <laughs> yeah. Why the Bronx? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. She's just saying she's close enough to you. Um, I'm single, too. I'll date him. Sadly, I don't work at Whole Foods, though, but my name begins with an M. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Look, all of, these, all of these seem like fair options. I mean, and you don't have to work at Whole Foods. It's not like a prerequisite. It was just some lady I liked there. Yeah. You could right. be anything. All right. Well, good. Now, after this appearance, you're going to get even more because, you know, now people know that you don't have to work at Whole Foods. I think we were limiting the, your base. So now we know that it, you, you'll date someone 
Even they don't, the, the name doesn't have to start with an M. No, no. And if you're my cousin, I don't have any money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, we have to take a break, Michael, but when we come back, uh, I'm going to talk to you some more, but that's not a bobcat, okay? It's definitely a bobcat. No, it's not. All right, we'll be back. We're back with a very funny Michael Che. That's a clip from his new show, HBO Max, on HBO Max. It's called That Damn Michael Che. Um, very funny and very, uh, like, you, you, that scene right there, and then you get stuck in the elevator with her for a long time. Um, yeah. Tell everybody what it's about. Uh, man, it's just kind of everything that goes on in my head that they wouldn't let me do on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of fun. It, it, you, you talk about some interesting topics that, uh, that a lot of shows don't bring up. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to write stuff that I wanted to see. And, you know, I like when it's kind of a little bit uh, controversial, I guess, is the word. I hate, see, I, don't you hate, like, describing comedy? It feels so dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, but it's very funny. And if you like Michael Che, and who doesn't, um, it's, it's really funny, so people should watch it, because it really it has some really great ideas and sketches and stuff like that. Um, okay. Hey, you, uh, y since you've been here, you went to Colin and Scarlett's wedding. You were going to cause a scene. Uh, you were going to stop the wedding, you said. But yeah. you didn't, because they're married. Yeah, I, I really wanted to interrupt and cause a huge mess. And then I got there, and it was like, just a normal people wedding. You know, it turns out they're like actually normal and it was sweet. And I was like, I can't mess this wedding up. And I just, I just let them have their day. And then after the wedding, I saw Colin's parents and they were like, hey, why didn't you ruin the wedding? I thought you were gonna ruin the wedding. You said you were gonna ruin the wedding. Like you wanted me to? And I was like, yeah, we were looking forward to it. So now I feel like maybe I, I dropped the ball. Oh, that's a shame. See? I said I I'd go with you. We would have done it together. I would have done it. He's waiting for you. I, 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 I messed up. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, Colin said he's actually anxiously awaiting your gift. What do you know? Do you have a gift for him? I do. Now I do. I didn't. I told him, like, I warned him that I had a really, really bad gift for him. And then he started getting frazzled. And I think that makes him a better performer. So I just keep <laughs> this live going and I got this crazy gift. But now I feel like I got to do it because I didn't ruin his wedding. And I feel like I let him down. So now I got to kind of ruin the marriage, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. I look forward to seeing that. Um, Elon Musk is hosting uh, SNL this weekend. Uh, <laughs> now, that's very controversial, right? How do you think that's going to go? Well, I was all on board for it until I found out that, like, did you know he's rich? Yeah, he's very... <laughs> turns out he's very rich. Yeah, now I'm, like, against it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would have told me that before. No, I, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I like what people are... It's cool that people care about who's on the show, you know? I think, like, that's what makes it kind of cool. The show's been on 46 years and people still care about who's being booked. I think that's kind of dope. And Miley Cyrus is uh, the performer. That's going to be great. She's always awesome. Yeah. Uh, she's been there probably as many times as I've been there, it feels like. So it's kind of cool. She's kind of like one of us. Yeah, she's fantastic. Can I just show you a picture of a bobcat before we go? This is a bobcat. <laughs> that's a bobcat. That's, that's, that was my cat. My cat was a little bigger than that, if you no, really no. Uh, put it side by side. I think my cat no. might be a mountain lion, actually. No. If, if you want to say it's a, it's a lion, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a baby lion, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a bobcat or a lynx, at least. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much. You're hilarious. All episodes of that damn Michael Che will be available tomorrow on HBO Max. Great talking to you, Michael. Thank you so much, Ellen. Yeah. I can't wait to get the coffee cup in the mail. All right, all right. <laughs> we'll send you underwear, too. We'll be back. Yeah. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God!